Hello everyone, let's try to be a cheat code ninja today. This question is asked in today's daily challenge. Let's look at it. Given a number, we have to find its count and say sequence. And the count and say sequence is defined using a recursive formula where the base condition count and say of 1 is equal to 1. And in general, the count and say sequence of n will be the say function of count and say sequence of n minus 1. Let's understand what the say function means. Here we divide the string into multiple substrings such that each substring contains only a unique digit. And for each substring we count its length and then concatenate it to a result. And then we concatenate the digit itself. Now let's look at this example. To calculate the say of this given string, We'll divide this string into multiple substrings such that each substring will contain only a unique digit. Our first substring will be 3 3 where the digit is 3 and its count is 2. Hence our string will become its count and the digit. Hence it will become 2 3. Our next substring will be 2 2 2 where the digit is 2 and its count is 3. Hence it will be written as 3 2. Our next substring will be 5 where the digit is 5 and its count is 1. Hence it will be written as 1 5. Similarly our last substring will be 1 where its digit is 1 and its count is 1. Hence it will be written as 1 1. Now we will generate our final say by adding all these individual parts. Now let's look at a full example. Here we have to find the count and say sequence of 4. We are already given our base condition that count and say of 1 is equal to 1. Count and say of 2 will be say of count and say of 1. Hence it will be say of 1 which will be 1 1. Count and say of 3 will be say of count and say of 2. Hence it will be say of 1 1. As there are two ones, it will result in two one. Count and say of four will be say of count and say of three. Hence, it will be say of two one, which will be one two and one one. Hence, it will be one two one one. In general, we could write our recursive formula as count and say of i will be say of count and say of i minus 1. Let's see how we can calculate say. Let's take our original example. We'll check our first digit 3 and see how far it extends to the right. We'll see that its count is 2. Hence we'll append to our answer 2 3. The next digit is 2 and its count is 3. We will append to our answer 3, 2. Our next digit is 5 and its count is 1. Hence we will append to our answer 1, 5. Our next digit is 1 and its count is 1. Hence we will append to our answer 1, 1. Now let's implement our solution. Let's reuse this function as our recursive function. Let's write our base condition where n is equal to 1 then our output is 1. We'll have to use the previous count and say. Hence we'll find the count and say of n minus 1. Now we'll have to find the say of this. Let's initialize our index as 0 and the say as empty. Now let's check till the end of the previous count and say. Now let's retrieve our digit and initialize its count to 0. Now we'll have to check till the end of this string the count of this digit. Hence we'll continue our loop till we find the same digit. Then we'll increment our count and the index. Now we'll append first the count and then the digit. And at the end of the loop we can return say. Let's submit our solution. 
As you can see, our solution is accepted. If you have any concerns about this solution, please mention in the comments. If you thought this video was helpful, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching.